I want to ask you, Chicago vet, how important is security in this time that we oh, living yeah. in the hip hop? How important is that shit? Man, it's super like detrimental to your life and career, especially you know when you want us. You feel what I'm saying because for one, it's like. I didn't did that shit. I'm really tired of looking over. That's first and foremost. I'm tired of looking <laughs> over my own shoulder. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, it's always important to have somebody who really there to make sure you good 100%. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I got the type of relationship with my security where it's like, he not even afraid to tell me, like, we are getting to it. Like, he not even afraid to tell me, man, go get, get in the car. Like, what you, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we are really getting to it sometimes because I be feeling like I'm a regular nigga sometimes. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie. You feel me? Well, I could just do certain shit and go it. certain places, you mm-hmm. feel me? But I can't at the right. end of the day, you know what I'm saying? And, and he going to always put me in that line, and it's like I got enough sense to know, all right, that's what he there for. I got to listen, you feel what I'm saying? Right. So you got to have that, you feel me? And, and, and it ain't – a lot of times we put ourselves in crazy situations, and it ain't even worth it, you feel what I'm saying? Because at the end it. of the day, he got a family. He got right. kids and a wife and all this shit, that he got to go home and make it home too. And I'm thinking about that just as much as I'm thinking about my son. So right. I make decisions where it affect my team in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not out here just moving like a young cowboy and no shit like that, but right. it's important to have security because what you doing this shit for? We doing all this shit to lose it, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, I done seen too many special people, you know what I'm saying? They life and they career get shortcut because of moment decisions. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's like it ain't even really worth it. You feel Definitely me? So not. you got to hey, have security. So, you know what's crazy? Hold up. Uh, the, one of the last times me and Gil seen you, it was in New York City. So this when the tour to started. Yeah. You know, you know, Corona you know, stopped the tour. But Literally. It was you and you had you brought King, King Vaughn in the tour with you. Yeah, that's my how, boy. How did that, you know, just this passing of him, how, you know, no nah, man, that shit made me drop real tears. Like I really got genuine love for him. You know what I'm saying? And everybody around him, like them, are my real homies. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like them, that's one of the people who I'm talking about. Like he's supposed to be here right now to right. this day. You feel what I'm saying? But at the, at the end of the day, it's like it's just, that shit just in us. He like how I just said, I feel like I'm a regular nigga. Bro felt like a regular nigga. Where it's like you could just do certain things, and you know what I'm saying? It's like, but at the end of the day, we can't. We can't do certain shit. It's just right. certain shit we just can't do. You feel what I'm saying? It's like that situation fucked me up, bro. Like, I be still thinking about it. I be still tweaking out, bro. I be posting shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just all types of shit because that's my real, real homie. You feel what I'm saying? And, like, I never want to see that happen to a nigga that I, I don't even fuck with on the right. level that I fuck with him. You feel right. what I'm saying? So it's like, of course it's going to affect you in that way. And it's like. That nigga like shit. We the same kind of nigga. Like, yeah. You, when some shit like that happen, you feel like it could happen to you. Absolutely. When some shit like that happen, I feel like that shit could happen to me because I know for a fact, I feel like a regular nigga. Where it's like I, I and probably you're not. You, you, I, you know, I, I know I ain't. You feel you what I'm saying? I mean? But just in our nature, it's in our nature right. to crash out. We will do it quick. You feel but, what I'm saying? That shit you, could really cost you your life, bro. But when you a chosen one, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand this, man. God chose you for a reason. When you blessed by the best, you better act accordingly. Don't disrespect your blessings. Yeah, you know I mean, don't Can't. disrespect your blessings. Can't, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers work their whole life to make it out the hood, man. They they work their whole life to be able to provide for their mama. So they mama ain't got to go through the shit she had to go through, wake up, go to them fucking jobs for the rest of life. A feet hurting. And, and feet hurting. And you feel what I'm saying? And then niggas get there and then... Act like they not blessed. You feel what I'm saying? So to all the youngins, man, don't disrespect your blessings. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not, you know, talking about King Von or nobody in particular. I'm just saying I'm giving the youth of the future some game. That when your blessings come in, accept your blessings. You can't you can't be a superstar rapper in a in a street nigga. Can't that just don't that just don't add up. Even if you are, it's like you are what you are at the end of the day. And a lot of times, like, them obstacles and them type of people going to come at you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and I'm just saying in general, like, you would think, oh, yeah, I could do this. I got to No, I'm a street nigga. I'm going to still carry my gun. and do. But just certain shit is like you got to really, like, separate yourself from it entirely in order to really, you know what I'm saying, get to that next level. You feel me? And, like, I be, I, and like, I ain't going to lie. Dirk a smart ass nigga, bro. I be talking to Dirk like mm-hmm. he really moved like, like you feel what I'm saying like that nigga know exactly who he is. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. the influence he got, the what the shit. You know what right. I'm saying like we didn't had those kind of conversations and he had it with me like on some. 
telling me even like, like and it be shit that i know already but it's like we gotta really remind each other like you feel what i'm saying as artists and as kings like no nah, nigga you gotta i seen i this. seen in philadelphia it was uh the, uh fillmore he was doing a show there and i was in the room with him and i seen him check one of his homeboys for getting a little aggressive with somebody that was there he checked the shit out of this ball man basically like yo man sit the fuck down man what is you doing man that you know you do that that turned into this now right. we in the whole situation exactly i seen him checking but I notice that's you, what, that's the same shit we talking. Yeah. You gotta you gotta have that absolutely. I noticed when you pulled up, right? Because I know at the beginning of this, you probably had about a bunch of homies moving around with you. You was yeah. deep, everybody deep. But I noticed when you pulled up, and you, you could tell about a different, more experienced artist and artists that got a little game time in the game. It was only you, your manager, your security, your cameraman, and like one other brother. Yeah. I don't know if they assistant. Some yeah. it was only five of y'all. Wasn't fifty. Yeah. What is the importance of that? Like, just you just got real people that it all bring value. Mm -hmm. Because we moving, you got to move efficient like that. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's cool. I've been kicking it. I'm I, I'm literally with 20, 30, 40 niggas if we go out to the club, all of that. But like certain shit, I can't even like, especially for something like this. You feel what I'm saying? We got to just pull up and be efficient when we move in that way. You can't really be responsible for fifty niggas when you want to get in and out of somewhere. You know what I'm saying, when but, you but, move but, a but, way. but you, I understand what you're saying. When you moving out here fifty deep and all that, like you're responsible for you're any responsible of them. for any Absolutely. all fifty of them. So anybody make a decision, they don't know them other fifty niggas. All they know is they pulled up with G Herbo, and that's what's G going Herbo down did on. this. G Herbo and them shot the club up. G right. Herbo and them did this. You know what I'm saying? You don't know nobody but me. So it's like. And if you move with 50 niggas, all them got to understand that they responsible for you, too. You feel what I'm saying? They got to make decisions because any decision that they make in the wrong way going to affect you and vice versa. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like and, you can't even have that type of energy around. And so all the artists out there, I'm not telling you to drop your homies off, but I'm telling you to eliminate your responsibilities. He, tell, he telling you to drop your homies off. No, I'm not. I'm telling you to eliminate your saying, responsibilities. Niggas gotta, no, niggas got to go home. I'm just sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. But, niggas but some, go home. some of your homies play a role. Like dudes trying to be cool. You know what I mean? Just be straight up. If your homies got to play a role, everybody got a motherfucking everybody, part to play. They got to play a part. Somebody play a role. I'm telling you right now. When I used to go out, I always had a nigga on with me. I always kept one nigga with me that never smoked a drink. Because that nigga's always seeing everything clear. Hey, yo, Gil, them niggas over there on angles, 